<laughs> the mic's in the shot. There we go. All right, now there should yeah. there be there should be sound now. It's Hopefully. it's going great. Yeah. <laughs> well, we usually start out with some sort of hiccups. So uh, you'd think I'd get better it, at this. Keeping it normal. Yeah, on brand. Yep. On brand. That's good. As long as Jesse can hear us and Rick, that's fine. That's fine. those two people. Everyone else, well. Yep. Well. Uh, so for my mom who'll watch it later, sorry, mom, your computer's not freaking out. I just don't know how to YouTube. Did you do that happens? <laughs> yeah. Aww. Well, I remember that time that I couldn't figure out how to make the sound come back. She was uh, she was watching it and she's like, I thought my computer was broken because oh. it was a long time and we were obviously saying yeah. stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're we're live and 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 in charge. We're back in Greensboro. So for those of you who were. Uh, around last week. Thanks for... Oh, I forgot. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, because yeah. we were in... Uh, Swerble uh, last yeah, week. Yeah, Verbal. Well, at uh, least for the live stream. Of yeah, yeah, for the live stream. So, uh, for those of you who joined us last week, thanks. That was cool. Yeah, it was different. Uh, yeah, totally different sort of thing. If you're not into knives, sorry, last week was probably kind of a bummer, unless you're curious about what, like, knife people are into. Here, girls, come on, jump up. Come on. What are you doing? Come here. She's being weird. Oh, come here. Nope. Nope. Chair oh, dog. She's back there. I'm from the UK. Hey, UK. There's Scraggles over here. <laughs> Looking weird, as usual. It was late in the UK. <sighs> Is it? I have no idea. Probably about 11, I think, oh. they said. Yeah. That's my guess. Oh, Jeff yeah. will tell me if That's it's right. wrong. That's right. Could be. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Hey, Family update? How's your dad doing? He's doing better. Yeah, I mean, you know, still good spirits and everything. So, yeah. Doing yeah. good. Yeah, good. Um, I hear he had a weird reaction to some painkillers and yeah. was like up all night being hyper and uh, asking a million questions. I'm very glad I don't have that. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yep. Scraggles is back there. We tried to get her uh, to jump up on Audrey's lap, but she was not having it today. She doesn't like that when I'm in this seat. If I'm sitting in that seat over there, she will definitely want to sit in my lap. It's uh, 2245. Oh, mm -hmm. So close. Yep, yeah. Close. Yep. So uh, Audrey's good at time zones and stuff. I'm... I'm, Wait, I'm, do they, maybe it's messed up in my head because I thought, maybe it's because of daylight savings. They start theirs earlier than we did, like oh, a week did? earlier. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. the cha time changes are very silly. So, anyway, it's been, a, it's been a pretty busy week here trying to catch up on things and... We've gotten lots of things. This is, this is real, that's real hot. Well, our faces are very red still, don't worry. Well, yeah, it's also really bright, so... I don't know. It's dark outside, it so this time change thing. It is cold yeah. right here, at least. Yeah, it is kind of dreary and cold. It's the worst of both worlds. There we go. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> don't like it. Now i got to reconfigure all my lighting for uh, for darkness. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's all that Cambodia time travel, says Sarah. Made you real good at time zones. That's true. And the whole... Um, research cruises where every day I would be in a different time zone and gain an yeah. hour. That was learning time zones every day changed. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh huh. Yeah, you did some really cool research cruises like yeah. Hawaii to Australia, New Zealand, and uh, all kinds of crazy yeah. stuff. So I picked the wrong profession. I never leave the, the country. Well, I'm out of it now. So, what? I mean, I get to travel yeah. the U.S., but mm -hmm. not. We can trade. No. <laughs> international yet so sunny and 65 in san francisco says bill isn't that always the way it is it's, well it's usually foggy <laughs> probably but other than that yeah. yeah i saw somebody post the other day on something that the fog was really rolling in was it what's the fog named gary or something yeah. gary the fog i don't remember but uh anyway so we have a zillion things that we've got in the last couple of weeks uh since we've been on here and uh so like i don't know you want to hit it want to show your stuff first you got uh, cool stuff. You always make me go first. I don't know. I like it. Why? I don't know. Well, you have the one thing, and that will be important with this thing over here, so. Oh, here you are. You can show it. Oh. So, Audrey got this thing, which is the new Pelican, what's it called? Star? Star, um. Ruby? Yes. <laughs> star Ocean? Um, yeah, Star <laughs> Ruby. I forgot like, where my buttons are and stuff. Oh, now it's too dark down here. Yeah, that doesn't really show the... Yeah, this. I forgot to put this light up. There oh we go. Oh my goodness. Bam. Might help a little bit. Um, it's not. No. Wow, you can't it see the sparkles at all. It doesn't translate at all, does it? Totally weird. This thing is super sparkly. And, uh... Very yeah. holographic. It's not just, like, silver or anything. It's 
rainbow. Let's try this light. Very rainbow. Yeah. There's a little better. Yeah, it's super weird how that's not translating even a little bit. Yeah, it's a little better. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, this is much, much more sparkly in real life than it is here. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, it's really holographically sparkly. Yeah, looking at it here and looking at your screen, it, yeah. I mean, you can see it a bit, but it is sparkly. But it, that's the thing. You don't, it's not crazy in your face. Do you think it's something that's too much for you? If they had a bigger, so say they had like a, a 600 of this. Would you be okay or like, oh, it's too sparkly, I'm a guy? Uh, no, I'd rock it. Okay. Yeah, no problem with that. I think it's cool. With some sparkles in this camera. Oh, a little bit. Not really. Oh. Totally strange. It's got to be the darkness. Yeah, it has darkness. to be. Daylight savings time. Thanks. Right. Is that what this is? I always forget. Yeah, there's a little bit sparklies. Anyway, Audrey is really... That's weird. <laughs> there's cat a cat noise. doing something out there in the hall. Uh, you can see it? That's good. Yeah, it's... um. Pretty nice. I'm impressed with whatever Pelican employee convinced the higher ups to go with the yeah. sparkle. Yeah, that's right. So King says it's because I'm secure in my masculinity. I don't think it's a girly pin at all. I mean, it's cranberry red. I mean, it's sparkly, but it's sparkly. Yeah. Like so what? Pelican doesn't strike you as a very sparkle friendly company. I mean, they haven't really been so far. They're kind no, of not really. You know, down to earth mostly. Yeah. Very sort of neutral tones and whatnot. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is. This is very sparkly, and then another very sparkly thing came out right after this, right? Didn't Sailor or somebody do a real sparkly red one? Who? Um, Platinum, didn't they? That's it, Platinum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Platinum then released like a very yeah. sparkly one. Hey, Scott Ross from Amsterdam, that's awesome. Wow. Sounds like a fun trip. Hey, Claire, what's up? 47 and dark in New Jersey. That sounds about Seems right. Seems fine. Yeah. I mean, if we're doing the weather, it's uh, allegedly 45 and overcast, but... I mean, it's dark. It's so. dark. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so that was your, uh, that was your it's big... It's a medium mm -hmm. nib on it. Steel, of course. So is that still too small for you? You know, I was actually using it today. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and it's it's a little bit on the small side. It's actually, like, I think I could probably use it. I think probably I could, but it is a little bit on the small side for me, like, in diameter. It's a little skinny. Wow. Is it skin? Huh. It's just a little skinny. Let's see how skinny it is. Oh, well, there you go. Sparkly but not too sparkly, says Evan. Doesn't look out of place in the office, in your opinion. Well, that's good. I mean, yeah, I don't think it... With most lighting, yeah, it's sparkly, but you're, if you're not looking straight at it, you're like, the sparkle isn't the first thing that hits, hits you on it. It's like 9 to 10 millimeters here in the, the old grip section, which is what I like, but I don't know, my fingers are on the threads, or maybe it's just like the overall size is fooling me? I don't know. I think I could, I think I could probably use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, know, I don't have one of these that I use regularly. But she just put this on my desk today, and so it was yeah. here. And it was I've been using, using it at work, so if you have gotten any Franklin Kristoff pens that have a red ink on it and the signature, that's from that pen. Yeah. What's the ink you've got in there? I got a, not Star Ruby from Pelican, surprising, but <laughs> I haven't used that at all, actually. I went with this one, which is Wild Strawberry from Diamine. Mm-hmm. Yep. Doesn't... Yep exactly match if you want to do a little writing thing or do you have your little swatch thing for it oh for cool? wild strawberry no way oh. well it's in one of those cards but yeah <laughs> i don't know there's a lot of reds some people pens feel weird in the hand despite the measurements yeah that's true sure. and i don't know why that is yeah. evan says think of it as a pocket pen and it's not too small that's probably a good point i mean hell i use this thing <laughs> so. i mean yeah the two of five is too small yeah right like, it is a bit smaller than this Kaveco student. Did I have a student last time? No, I don't think I did. So here's another no, thing. No, that's the thing you got. Yeah, you didn't show that. Because that's what you got in your... Do you have your ink thing? The ink vent? Yeah, it's yeah. down here. Okay. Um, we got an ink vent coming up. Uh, did you sign your pen with it, Audrey, says uh, Jesse? I did. Look at you. Um, yeah, Jesse Coles has a really cool-looking pen. She got her 50th Franklin Kristoff. Hey, Jesse. Oh, um... See if I can find it, and, and uh, I'll show people your thing. And by thing, I mean Franklin Kristoff. It's been like yeah, a the month 300, they don't really do much with at all. Has it been a month? It can't have been a month. It's been like, it's been a while. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Franklin Kristoff. That's who I want. Do, do, do. Second one there. This one? Yep. There it is. Yep. 
That's Jesse's uh, 50th MFC. It's a uh, Model 20. Yep. Looks like. It is. Very, very swirly. It sort of reminds me of yours, the Brooks one right there. Different colors, but sort oh, yeah. of similar it is the same. matte. Well, I don't know. Not sparkly to it, but sort of like She's that. About this one. Yeah. Which is like kind of like chunky colors. And it's swirled. Hers is more swirly than this one, but yeah. yeah, you're right. Same kind of thing going on, which I dig. Yeah. Play Doh acrylic. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Bye, Joey. Here for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. Hey, Brian, what's Hi up? I am by. If it looks like the pen rest we make, it does look a little yeah, bit like Yeah, it does. Sort of has that sort of. Yeah. Pen rest available up here. <laughs> and can eat us, huh? So, yep. Um, yeah, I really like this. I think if I had a pen made, it'd be something. Like if I had Brooks do a material or something, it'd be somewhere in there. Yep. Yeah. Very I cool. cool. I did like it. Yeah. Looks real neat. So, yep. Yep. Um, yeah, so Audrey got a pen and this wild strawberry diamine. I got these from Lemur Inc. with their um, Fountain Pen Day sale that they had. So. Oh, nice. yeah, we got a lot of. <laughs> We did hit the lemur ink for the, uh, the did. Fountain Pen Day sale, didn't we? Well, he's got he's got free shipping over like twenty bucks or something. And I got this as well, which I have not swatched or done anything with. Which one but is it's that? an ink sample, the Pilot Roshizuku Kurosame. Ah. Sort of one of those murky, sort of grayish colors that looks cool, and I wanted an ink sample, so I got it. That's all. That's all. So you know how I said I'm pretty sure I did Wild Strawberry a long time ago. Yep. Uh, I did Wild Strawberry a very long time ago on my That blog. is a very long time ago, <laughs> so, indeed. So this was, uh, this was my post for Wild Strawberry. I added a video to it. Uh, so, in case you're curious, I started my blog in, like, February of 2012. Did so, you, so, do you even put anything on there anymore, really? What do you mean? Do what? you make blog posts or do you just post your videos? No, I do, make, I do blog posts Okay, sometimes. I'm sorry, I don't go to your blog. And the last one I did was like a month ago. Mm. Um, so part of that is that I I had a couple that I wanted to do. I did a couple of oranges back to back on the um, uh, on the YouTube. And then I tried to put them on the blog. And remember, I was like, it keeps changing my colors. So uh, I would I like... I about that, yeah. Yeah, I took darn good pictures of it actually and I have several inks that I can put up there I just haven't yet because I'm so frustrated about the orange but it was um like it looked totally accurate on my on, on one program I was using uh, I think Lightroom probably and then like, I, I exported all those and I put them up on blogger and then I put them on my blog and they just look wrong like they're yeah. a totally wrong color yeah. and then I went oh that's weird so I went back to Lightroom and I'm like I better adjust these because I screwed them up and no they were Normal Fine. there, yeah. And so I was like flipping back and forth between programs on the same screen, and it looked different. And yep. so he showed me, yeah, I did. And so I was so frustrated by that that I didn't, uh, I haven't done any in a little while. But yeah, I still do the vlog. Yeah, yeah, still got stuff. Oh, good. Seems like people like yeah. Kurosame as well. You love. I, I you like. Loves. Let's. Uh, let's I like it. gray right. inks, so. Yeah, I might have a swatch of it over in my. Then don't waste a card. Whatever, man. I'll get more cards. Oh, you'll get... Oh, yeah. Didn't she say you need to get some more cards? I do. Yeah. Next time I see Anna, this is how many uh, Colodex <gasps> cards I have left. That's all. I, well, I started out with, like, hundreds. <laughs> so, how many are in a pack? Yeah, oh, uh, a hundred of them. So, I started out with, like, three or four of these. Mm -hmm. And I'm down to this. So, next time I see Anna at a pen show, which will be likely Is that when Billy. I brought some back for you from... Yeah, Some you did. Show. Um, yes, you did. I think it was from St. Louis or something, because you weren't there. That seems right. That's when they, yeah. Yeah, there were like some, some fancy uh, uh, divider cards that were particular to the show or something. Yeah. That's a pretty. No, it was. Um, it was. They were just introducing those cards. The yeah, but they had some uh, different color divider cards that were. Um, limited edition. Oh, yeah. I like, I got some those. green ones and some yeah, brown or ones, like craft. Yeah, you did. That's how I know about them. Good, good That's, job, past Audrey. You did a good job, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. So, the pink undertone really works for you? Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> Late to the party. Hey, Martin, what up? So, uh, there's a pink undertone to the Kurosame. Oh, really? Interesting. That's what, that's what I, that's what I get out of it, at least. Oh, Brian's been using Vinta Armada. Yeah, I gotta get some Vinta inks. I don't think I have any of those. Oh, I got a couple of those from... You did, um, from Cat. Yeah, Inky Cat writes. There's a little bit of a pink undertone, huh? Yeah. Just a little bit. 
Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can actually see it. So I backed this camera up as much as I could, and it actually seems to have fixed the focus problems and the color problems a little bit. Oh, that's good. Which is weird, right? Yeah. It was too it was too close to show the color. Yeah, it's really kind of an interesting gray. So, yeah, neat. Yeah, I don't think this is one I've ever used. So that's oh, really? Weird. Yeah. That's definitely a kind of color mm. that I like. That's from Lemur Ink. And Pilot. <laughs> Stick that over there. Yeah, and Pilot. Yeah. So, yeah, Wild Driver I did, like, within the first few months of my blog so people i mean people talk about dye mine but i really like their inks they've Everybody. got those all over <laughs> well they're localized yeah it's a local mess um yeah i don't think anybody says bad things about no, dye mine. No. like the joke is that dye mine makes everybody's inks because like <laughs> so when you find out like some small makers inks a lot of times it's dye mine or like ackerman it's always been the rumor that dye mine makes them and that sort of thing but uh, yeah no i think their inks are great i, yeah. I like them a lot like yeah. they're sheening inks like yeah um, this is uh, Skull and Roses. This is like my favorite sheening ink. It actually works. Yeah, it flows <laughs> so, well and it's sheening. Yeah, yeah forget it's nitrogen okay. and all that nonsense. Skull and Roses, that's where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> it's a local mess. That'd be a good name for my... Uh, for this. <laughs> TV <laughs> band name, Local Mess. <laughs> well, I'm going to put that down as a possible title for the video. Oh, um, there you go. <laughs> is that what's working go. now? Oh, that's good. It's working-ish. That's so, something that should be mentioned except fc's things which are made by noodlers they are not made by noodlers no don't <laughs> don't start that rumor uh, no that was um i don't know who started it but i do remember uh somebody who used to like say that at pen shows and be like look no it's, it's not true not so, true i don't know who makes them but i do know it's not noodlers so yeah. uh, i like diamond saturated blue inks like sargasso and uh asa blue i remember so you got that at you, Bert, so you bought that was for you you wanted sargasso oh, well, that was, i've like, never seen yeah. it i've never filled it with sargasso um, blue so it was really for you when you I have say that, but like, it's been like four years ago yeah. I mean, it was a long time um, also, remember, Bert has a new location. we got to check that out at Christmas if we go yeah, to D.C. I think it's probably farther away, though. It's like a mile down the road or something. It's right next to oh, the old place. Oh, okay. Was. Well, that's good. Yep. Just love the colors, but they run from water. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, except for, like, the registrars and stuff like that. I think those yeah. are pretty good at that. Um, this is so hot. There goes a little better. All right, so this is the, uh, the other pen that I got very recently. Uh, well, I don't know, last week or the week before. Um, this is uh, one that well, I was we didn't actually. We picked up until we're... we got home. Oh. Is that what it was? Yeah. I thought there was something like that. Remember, we had a bunch of packages at home that. The, oh, the, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah it came while we were gone. So, yeah. um, this is a Kaveco student. I was actually asking y'all about this about converters and yeah. stuff like that last time we were home, uh, and I decided to go for the blue one, the blue and chrome instead of the uh, the white and orange, because uh, the white and orange had a gold hardware and I didn't dig it. Um, so my initial impression was I took this out of the box and I put ink in it yeah. and, uh, it would not write at all. Yep. <laughs> it was, um, uh, it wasn't good. So, um, the problem with it was basically that the nib was jacked up. Um, it was way too close together. So in order to get any ink, I had to actually press on it. And it is a little bit, like it's a little bit on the soft side for these nibs. Who's meowing? That was uh, Katie. That was Katie. Yeah. Scraggles just chased her out. Um, so, uh, yeah, this like needed to be opened up. I took the nib off and I like flexed the little wing things to make it wetter and that still didn't work. I had to shim it with like my little brass shims over here. Uh, and that, I think it's kind of okay, but, uh, what nib I, did I get? I got a, I got there a fine. Go. We have a Scraggles. There she is. She jumped yeah. up. Good job, Scraggles. Way to be brave. Yeah. She's been snoozing all day on account yep. of daycare yesterday. She's very tired from daycare. Um, so I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have Audrey take a look at this when she gets a chance, cause um, you know. As you say, it writes like pants. Um, it writes slightly better than pants. Okay. I, well, now. Yeah. When I got it, it was junk. Just didn't write. Um, so like, I'm glad I know how to fix these things, and that she knows how to fix them even better, cause this is a pretty nice pen. I like the feel of it. Um, I think the I think the it's waist nice of this thing is a little yeah the color is beautiful it's a really nice blue. It's interesting um, blue, yeah. I think the waist is maybe a little bit skinny. Uh, on the um, man hashtag not relatable am I right? <laughs> yeah you are. Um, yeah it's like just under nine millimeters in the middle where it gets skinnier so I mean it could be a little bit thicker if it was a little bit thicker I think I'd like it more. So, yeah uh, posts pretty well. But anyway, so yeah, Kaveco student, like, you know, the nib was, mm, 
Find this your medium and nibrob Kvekos work better out of the box than the fines. I haven't bought a Kveko in quite a long time, um, but I like their fine. The, um, what was the one I just gave away? The uh, the Kveko special. special. That had a fine, I think, although maybe it was a medium. Um, My Kveko Frost Sport had a double broad, and it was fine. Yeah. Not fine. It was, it was double broad. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it was writing. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as of uh, Kameko Nibs is wonky. Oh, so I've never had issues with their fines. Yeah, I um, like I used to get really lucky with Kaveco Nibs. Everybody was like, "Oh, they're all busted." And I only got good ones. Well, I finally got a bad one. So whatever. It seems like it's gonna be fine once I get it really going, and it's okay now. It's just not like it's not great. I don't know. Like it's a little scanty. When I push down on it a little bit, like it does real well. I think it should be opened up a bit more. Yeah. It's still a little bit too tight in the old tines. So, autocorrect makes your sentences look weird. I figured that was go what was going on there. I've had that happen myself. Um, what else did you get? Anything else cool that you want to talk about? I got that. Oh, yeah, these. So, these, well, tell people about them. I'll hold them. You tell people about them. They're Beats Pro. Yeah. Yeah. These are, I like the way these go in the, go in the case. They, like there's a magnet there's in there. There's a certain direction, though, when you have them in a certain orientation, trying to figure out how they... What it's not intuitive which one you put down right away. Um, that's uh, the only thing it takes me a second to realize yeah, no, how I, to put I, them I, in there. Even I get though it. it is magnetized, but once you get that right spot, it's fine. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So these are the Beats Pro. She got these uh, second hand. Second hand. Yep. On select. How, how do you like them? I like them. Yep. I like them. It's a nice little case. Um, I haven't. I've used them a few times and. Yeah, and once I've only put them in one ear, so the thing is that Oh, work, you can just put it in one you ear? You can. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think they sound really good. It was a little too... I have a bunch of earrings in this ear, and there's this one, and it actually hits against that. It fits... The thing about... On the, these? Yeah. Yeah. Because the way it goes in and loops around, it sort of hits this one earring that I have. But it's just this ear. This ear would be fine. So I just switched the ears up and it's fine. Oh. To the one that have it for a long time in mm. my ear. Just for a short time, if it hits that, it's fine. But it's okay. not that great. The thing, yeah, I've said with the AirPods, the first generation, they just don't fit my ears at all. Yeah. So now that they have the little silicone things, it's, these also are good. What? I was like, I don't know how to put these in. That's the <laughs> other thing. You have to get used to knowing how to put them in. So. To go like, I think they go like this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Like, you get in the right place, and you just kind of twist it, and it follows your head around. Yeah. I think they look cool. Yeah. Uh, they're a little bit isolating. Like, I'm getting an echo when I'm talking to myself, and it's mm -hmm. only in one ear. Yeah. Um, but fortunately, the AirPods fit me perfectly, so yeah. that's good. But yeah, it's nice that Audrey has a pair of headphones that work for her, so. Yeah. Uh, and then the person she bought them from actually <laughs> <That's> uh, <right. laughs> like threw in an extra pair of these, so they were also selling a pair of uh, Beats Studio 3s or something, and I was going to buy them. Yeah. And because uh, I kind of want some new cans, uh, and I wanted some Bluetooth like can over the ear style. And uh, she said, oh, I sold those already, but I have some original. So these are the original Beats Studio wireless ones. Uh, she just like threw them in, but they're you know a little bit ripped. I can get new cups for yeah. them, I guess. But um, it's interesting because they're noise canceling, which is kind of cool. Like active noise canceling. I can't figure out how to turn that off. So when I listen to podcasts, there's like a hiss in the background. But um, I mean, these are old. Uh, they're very comfortable. They're like squishy in the right places. So anyway, so yeah. we both kind of got new headphones. Yep. Well, both got kind of new headphones. Um, yeah. So I don't know, let's mark things off of our list. Odds new Pelican and Inks. Yep. Check. Check. Um, dope. Scraggles. Oh. Check. Yeah. New scraggles. That's good. Um, oh, you want to do the let's show the advent calendar? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So y'all uh, know that Diamond has an advent calendar. Open them all right now. No, I'm not gonna do no it. No spoilers galore. No, no spoilers. No. I'm not doing it. Uh, it comes in like this. I get this from Lemur Inc. as well. I think they've probably sold out. Uh, I'm not sure where you can find this anymore, um, but it looks like this. The Inkvent. Uh, Inkvent calendar, which I think is pretty darn cool. It is fun, yeah. It weighs, I thought it would actually be heavier than it is, but I guess all except for one, one. of the bottles is yeah. uh, plastic. So they've got little, little tiny doors. Um, and my, 
my plan is I'm hope I hope I can stick to this. Yeah, that's gonna be difficult. <sighs> uh, but my plan is um, you can see if you want to like get spoiled on some stuff. Uh, I know Figboot did a re like put a video up about these, and he shows at least at least a few of the inks. Um, and like I think he said there's spoilers, but I, I don't really know. Uh, oh, an ink thing. Oh, the pen thing is a few of the advent calendars. Yeah, cool. So go there. Mm. Um, I think. Well, actually, I haven't looked for them in a bit. But uh, a hot minute, you might say. Like one of those hot minutes. Mm. Yeah. Um, but this is uh, so. My plan is anyway. Um, oh, Mound of Ink reviewed all of them. Oh, wow. Jeez, I Kelly. I see it. I love spoilers. I'm ready to go there today and look. No, yeah. don't do it. Don't do I'm it. Doing, I'm no. doing. There's no way I'm not going. Now that I know she has those up. I Unsullied. That's yep. me. So my plan is starting December first. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to do it like, like you ought to do an advent calendar. Like. The fun part of an advent calendar for me is the constant, like, different surprise every day. I really like that aspect, uh, and so I'm going to do it. So I'm going to, uh, oh, you should be able to get them from Cult Pens. All right, cool. Yeah. So if those are still around, check that out at Cult Pens as well. Yeah, Cult Pens had a good price on them, I think, yeah. too. Um, so I'm going to do them one a day. I'm going to be putting up little videos one a day. Now, the caveat is they might be, like, phone like phone quality. like phone quality uh, videos. I will try to make them not crappy, but they will probably not be my usual whole like And it's not gonna be a full review because yeah, no, you it can't, can't be. do that. Yeah. Right. Um, like I don't think I'm gonna Should I put them in pens? That's so much cleaning. That's I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But it's unlikely. I mean you have enough uninked pens that you could do that. <laughs> Jesse says she may have accidentally purchased two, so someone needs one. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Hit up Jesse Cole's Jesse, there yeah. in the in the chat. Do them as Instagram stories. You could do that. Yeah, yeah I could. I don't know. I kind of want to put them on the. I kind of want to put them on the channel though. So I don't know. We'll see what I do. But um, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. Do I have a dip pen? I do have. I have one dip pen. It's a glass nib that I got from from Speaking Jesse. Of Jesse Cole. From Jesse Cole's here. Uh, so I might do that. Yeah, that might be the way to do it. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna do those one a day. So like every day up until Christmas, right? It goes until Christmas. They stop then? That seems right. Yeah. So um, yeah, 25. Or something? Ooh. Well, I can just tell you. Uh, yeah, I don't... <laughs> um, 24. Which is Christmas Eve. Yeah, I'm seeing if there's a 25 here. Yeah, I guess it is Christmas oh. Eve. Oh, 25. Yeah, it's on Christmas Day. There you go. Um, so yeah, 25. 25 videos. We'll see how it I goes. I think you should do it ahead of time. <laughs> nope. Just Nope, not gonna. Day of. Uh, that might make it interesting if we go to D.C. See, yeah, the 24th yeah. is supposed to be that. That's what I thought, too. There's one on Christmas. They give you an extra. The Christmas one is the big, like, glass yeah. one. So, yep. Spoilers, Mike. No. I'm not that was, that was a spoiler. You what told was? me that the big one was on the 25th. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, now I'm spoiled. <laughs> now I know to expect the largest one on the, the list. Well. Oh, what's this? I didn't see this on the Franklin Krista. It's a cinch bag. Where have you been? <laughs> I don't know. I just I must have missed this one. You can one. use that for your um Look at that. Franklin Krista has a little cinch bag. Yeah, I can use that for swimming. I've already got a really good one, but yeah. I got one of these hats. Yep. I actually you really were wearing it. Yeah. yeah. You were, we weren't sure if you were gonna like it or not, but Oh yeah, no, I do like it. Yeah. It's actually right behind you. Um yeah, I really like that trucker hat. It's good. Uh, it's going to be Mike's version of Inktober. That's right, because I didn't do Inktober. What's up, no, Robo Jim? Uh, extra Christmas present. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Diane Newing tells you that in the description when you get the big bottle at the end. See, told you. That's how I knew, because mm -hmm. I read sure, the description. Yeah, you definitely read it. I did. Okay. Probably. Mm -hmm. uh, or else I just guessed really well. I don't know. Scott's going to go full throttle on the merch. Yeah, it looks like Mike the FC shill. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. That's me. Uh, respect to the beanie, who's a Raiders fan. <laughs> Um, uh, not anybody at the shop, <laughs> as far as I know. Nobody's ever no. talked about the Raiders. Scott just really likes uh, red and uh, black and gray. That's yeah. <laughs> his jam. You've yeah. got one of those hats. I do. Is yeah. it still in my car? No, I put it in the, the case with your uh, grinder, like your little slopey travel uh... case. Anyway, she took it with her to, took, yeah. to Knoxville because she was grinding at home. So, um, oh, I, while we're doing like things I'm doing reviews for FC on... I'm doing a review on these. Oh, there's a blue one? Yeah. Well, dang. Cool. Maybe. Uh, I didn't mention that one. Womp womp. Well, now you have to redo it. I know. I'll put it in the notes. Um, so I got a couple of those. I think I might have shown those on here. Did I show you all the Franklin Kristoff? You 
things? Sort of did. You want to yeah. grab one of them over there? You mentioned or it was on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. You sort of mentioned it last week. These are the too. new uh, Franklin Christoph Pinvelopes. They're called the new Pinvelopes. And uh, they're made out of, yeah, they're vegan, which is pretty cool. I showed them. Good. I'm going to show them again because somebody might not watch. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna have I'm gonna be posting a video about these. I think it's a very nice video, although I haven't edited it yet, so it might be junk. Maybe I don't it's know. <laughs> I hope it's good. Um, but yeah, oh, because I talked about how they smell a little bit like leather, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I smelled one of my leather ones, yeah. and I was like, oh, it didn't smell like anything. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so yeah, these are pretty cool too. It depends cool on how like the boot brown does, right? The boot one doesn't smell like anything. It's totally Here's scentless. What I'm thinking of them. But anyway, yeah, yeah, vegan. The interior, like these insert things, are are. Um, uh, our cotton. So, hey, Anzen Hoshi Roshi, or Hoshin Roshi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, new car leather. Yeah, a little bit like new car smell. Yeah. No, maybe I'm going crazy, but a little bit of that. Yeah. So anyway, that's coming up on the blog for sure. Also, like I guess while I'm talking about things coming up on the blog, I've got a great video coming up on the blog. I <laughs> I spent a zillion hours making the yeah. darn thing. Um, so Tom Odo over at uh, Gold Spot Pens is putting together a whole bunch of us like YouTube pen people to do a community gift guide. So especially for fake leather, it's actually, it's not like, it's not it's fake. Not, it's not even, it's not fake leather. It's like a, it's, it's like a paper fiber, sort of tree be, fiber yeah. thing. It's anyway. not like pleather, which would be the, supposed to be like leather. It's just a, a different yeah, yeah, thing. It's a whole different material. Um, so I, I am in, I am part of that. Yeah. Brad yeah, put Brad his video is. up already. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so mine's going to go up soon. Did I get my cynic yet? Wait yeah. for it, Jim. Wait. Um, so I'm in that project as well. Uh, I posted the video or I put the video up. It's uploaded. It's ready to go. Uh, I just didn't want to put up two videos today. So I'll probably put it up tomorrow, I guess. Uh, you should ask everybody here if they care since you mentioned on Slack, but I did. I asked about it on Slack. So how do y'all feel about getting multiple videos from the same like maker, uh, channel? I should Okay. Say? I don't know. From the same channel a day. Like, creator. There you go. I'm yeah. a creator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a achiever. Um, so, uh, yeah. Tell me how you feel about getting, like, multiple videos a day. Because I didn't want to, like, put two up in one day. It felt weird. I don't know. But the live stream, I feel like, is its own thing. Where hmm. either if you are... there, I think there are different types of people. There's going to be people who are part of the live stream that are not going to watch it because they were there. Hmm. There's going to be the people who like that they like to chat with us on friday and then there are other people who just want are there for a review on something yeah and so i think that maybe some of the people would like to won't even bother with the live stream and would just watch the other video yeah i'm getting a lot of uh no more than two probably but a lot of people are saying like as long as it's not 30 it's fine uh, if it's already daily that's too much but otherwise you're good yeah i don't do that <laughs> oh yeah so that's mike he doesn't like there'll be a week where he doesn't have anything this week yeah. actually um actually the reason that i did that is because i didn't have any videos this week is because we got back and so i was already behind for me gone all weekend and then um and then i made the franklin Kristoff one and then i needed to get the uh the one for gold spot done and that gold spot one took that was like all a day <laughs> it was like i didn't go to bed till like 3 a.m because i was up uh editing that sucker so good times because i did it the first time i was like nope i hate this and so i remade a whole different one it was uh it was it was rough it's infrequent a few a day is fine always depends on the content yeah that's fair jeff thanks yeah. uh live stream is completely different from your videos agreed oh okay well i figured just because it was a video it's longer yeah. and so there's gonna be people who unless you really like us which <laughs> i we know there's a few and far between look, look i wouldn't but... watch this later i mean if i look at a video and it's like it's an hour and a half I'm like nope ain't got time for that yeah. so i get it uh but have... <laughs> i'm told it shows a lot of people say oh i couldn't go to the live stream and but i sit on friday and while i'm cooking dinner or yeah. while i'm doing something else i have it on and, and wa watch it so yeah i mean yeah. i guess some people do um <laughs> BJ says, also, haven't you had to grade like 90 million papers? Um, no, it was just slightly over 200 <laughs> in the last couple of weeks. Um, but uh, at least I do get a bunch more on Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah, no, the rest of today right. and all day tomorrow, I'm probably going to be just grading. So, don't have YouTube notifications turned on. Kimberly. 
Hit that bell. Hit that bell. <laughs> and actually, I don't care if you hit the bell or not. <laughs> I, I yeah. So uh, Tony only watches the ones that he thinks he'll find useful. I get it. That's what I do. So dislike, comment, and hit that bell. <laughs> you want to hit dislike? What are you gonna say? <laughs> I mean, I hear from YouTube that it used to be any sort of click is good, even mm. if it's a dislike. Yeah. I don't Who know. Who knows anymore? Nobody okay. knows what uh, YouTube is doing. Uh, so, like, what else did I get? Oh, how about <laughs> these? Yeah. So, for a completely different thing, um, Brad Dowdy, the pin addict, you might have heard of him. No, who? Um, he's just some guy. I don't know. Um, Brad Dowdy. Uh, so, we got timed out. <laughs> Tony. Oh, dang. I missed. I didn't even see what was said. Oh. He just said he, uh, he only watches if he thinks it's useful. <laughs> dang. <laughs> Woo. Sarah, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she oh. she did it accidentally. <laughs> oh yeah, good times. Um, That's so funny. <laughs> sorry, Tony. <laughs> Bijou, misusing your power is for evil. Um, so um, <laughs> he really says, "I do what I want." That's what I do too. That's what I do. Um, so anyway, my buddy Brad Dowdy, the pin addict, um, had these made, and he sort of teased them a few weeks ago, and he finally put them up for sale. And uh, Brad the dude with the pointy hair. Oh man, I wish I had that pointy hair. It'd be good. Diana says your uh, hair looks really good. Oh, I think you. it does too. Oh, I think God. this is like a very good outfit. I dig this a lot, actually. <laughs> okay, before you get to the nope, lower that's all there is to it. I like all so, this stuff that's going on here. So, I think it's. I wish I dressed up for I the pod. I would pod. like to <laughs> get an opinion. So today, <laughs> I'm sitting there working, and he looks. Mike looks over him, and he goes. That's not what happened. What? You're already telling the story what? wrong. You were walking past me in the dining room. I thought I was sitting down. Nope. Okay, I was wa I was walking to the other room. Yep, that's accurate. Good. He looks at me uh -huh. and he goes, your hair is looking really flat today. <laughs> it was. And this leaves it at that. <laughs> no. And I uh, no, and that I didn't leave it at that. I said, "Oh, I guess that's the side you were sleeping on," because this was not long after she'd gotten up. This was, and she was hours after I got gotten up. Hours. Okay, so it was only mere hours after she'd gotten up, and that side of her head was kind of flat. So you know, there you go. Nope. Oh, Letitia's boyfriend was commenting on how nice you look today. Oh, Ooh, well, well, thank you. Um, so. Yeah, just goes. Your hair looks flat, and I'm like, and I was totally like, that. <laughs> thanks. That's super rude. And he goes. And then he gets offended at me because I'm offended that he was just being mean about my hair. And he's like, I thought you should know your hair is looking flat. So here's, uh, so here's the backstory from inside my head um, was that she's been using a new shampoo and conditioner. And she's been asking me like every day, hey, how does my hair look? Uh -huh. And so um, it usually, it's been looking like this is great. I think this shampoo, well, I've, I've been using it too. Not today. I probably should have. Um, <laughs> because I don't know. My hair's looking like a little... Like, I don't know, frizzy or something. Well, but... tomorrow will be better. Oh, I finally get a haircut tomorrow. It's been two, two months. It's way too long for, like, this bald head to have this long hair. But, um, so in my head, it was like, she's been asking me, hey, how is, how's my hair doing with this new stuff? And so I was surprised that it looked like it was kind of flat. Thank and you, when Claire. It, when it hasn't been. It's not excuses yeah. until you uh -huh. what happened. Anyway, whatever, man. Um, so, anyway. so I didn't ask you how my hair looked today. I had not done anything with my hair knowing I'm sitting here grinding my nibs all day. I'm not looking. I didn't do anything with my it's hair. Fine. I didn't it's fine. anything. And so then so like, she like went like this and it was fine again. So like I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> my hair is looking flat. My hair is looking absent <laughs> is what my hair. My hair is looking like glare. I think you mis misspelled glare, Jesse. <laughs> so. <laughs> and so he can tough you with me before he leaves. Like, oh, well, I guess I'm not going to talk about your hair anymore. And I'm like, yep. Fine. No, no more. I mean, no more. I'm just telling you that was not a nice thing to say. I'm not truly offended, but it was just a little. Okay. So Brad, the man who start, started this whole conversation, Mr. Pointy Hair himself. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Brad. Your pointy hair. Brad. So uh, obviously loves you. Otherwise, she'd have to. Uh, she'd have forced levitated a chair into my path. Yep, just with the power of her fury. Oh, yes. Uh, Mike, the hole you're digging is getting deeper. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, so, he started selling these. He finally put them up on his website. He should have loaned them to us. Oh, he should have loaned them to us. Um, which, this is what those are. These are Bic Click Sticks. 
which are just like a venerable. Say that five times fast. Bit click sticks. Bit click sticks. Bit click sticks. Bit click sticks. Bit click. Yeah. Dang oh, it! Oh, so close. Was I on yeah, five? Better. Oh. Um, so these are uh, pin addict orange loner pins, and uh, <laughs> I may have gotten a few of them. <laughs> like <laughs> I showed. Uh, he I took, showed it to me. I'm like, how many did you order? Jeez. The answer is uh, the answer is a lot. Um, not t I mean only like a dozen, and he was he was laughing about it on his Twitch stream. Because uh, he said, like, three or four people, including me, ordered, like, a dozen of them at a time. But they're not expensive. Uh, and so I think I'm going to give some away, maybe through a uh, YouTube channel or blog or Instagram or something. It would be a good gift for doctors or nurses. Right. And waiters. Dude, waiters. Yes. So much. Nobody's going to not know where you got this, yep. right? Um, yeah, it would be actually a really great gift yeah. for doctors, nurses, and waiters. Um, but uh, I was carrying them at school the other day, and... Uh, Maggie actually, she was like, "Oh, hey, you have a pen on you? You've got a pen on you." And so I handed her one of these. She's like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "That's our uh, administrative assistant who is retiring at the end of this semester, and we are going to be yeah. lost in our my department." My department in NC State, after the, she left, it it was hard. It was tough for a while. Without the, secretaries are very important. <laughs> don't pins don't look lonely? No, they're not. They've got pals. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, no, I like those. I think they're hilarious. I've actually just, like, just been sitting on my desk and I've been like, every time I look over, I kind of giggle a little bit. I think it's ridiculous. So, it's a lovely Saturday morning. Oh, yeah, teachers. Diana, yeah. yeah, that's right. So, if my sister yeah. was still doing that in the classroom, that would be good. I yeah. gave her, like, nice pencils at one point, yeah. uh, and she wouldn't use them because she was afraid kids would take them from her, uh, yeah. her classroom. So. I get it. You don't want to have people take them. But that's why you have yeah. a loner and then yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, Sarah's dead to him. <laughs> PSA, Sarah's dead to you. Well, all right, so I did those. Loner pens, done. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, did you bring your new knife in here? I don't know if I left it at work or if I put it in my bag. I don't really remember. I haven't looked. So, I used it. I used it two times this week. So, so. she goes scraggles. Oh, she's fine. Sorry, scraggles. She knows that I'm upset with you about the hair thing. No. Yeah. She She's doesn't. like, Mike, why do you talk about her hair? <laughs> sure, it's not nice like my beard, but you know. Oh, <laughs> well, what is, right? <laughs> they brushed her at doggy daycare yesterday, and Audrey got so offended. <laughs> I think she looks beautiful and silky smooth. I'm like, so. did they brush her? How dare they? She's um, scraggly. So I talked to Audrey into getting a knife. She's always a little bit curious about getting like a little knife. And so she got a little uh, Spyderco bird knife. Bird. Uh, you got the Robin, right? The Robin, Robin 2, two. Yeah. which is a cute little, cute little spyderco y knife. And uh, I ended up getting this one. What new knife? Is it a mic size knife? No, hers is not My a mic size home. knife. No, no, no. Uh, let me Google it right quick. Do I search through my bag and see if I can have it? No, you have to put her down. I <gasps> Shh, don't put her down. You. Don't tell her her hair is flat. <laughs> it's not. It's gorgeous. It is, uh, it is adorable. Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah. Uh, Firefox. Yeah, it looks like this. Although yours is not brown. No, mine's black. That would have been kind of kind of cool. Yep. Mine was on sale, though. Yeah, that's right. Um, so hers was on sale. It was, uh, you know, it's a cute little knife. Yeah. It's adorable. Yeah. Uh, how big is this thing? Uh, it's Wii. Um, uh, blade length, 2.4 inches, which is Two actually, is fine. which is actually not bad. Like it's, it's got more blade than you think it does, but, um, it's very nice. So, yep. The Chaparral. Um, I think it's smaller than the Chaparral. Oh, mine, mine's not a Chaparral. Why are the topics so random? That's what I do here. That's, it, th that's a good question. Because <laughs> that's what's fun talk about here. stuff. No, it's not a Chaparral. It's a, uh, a Mannix 2. Uh, well, like the real reason it's uh, so random is that, uh, like, I don't know, I like pens and knives and bags and ink and stuff. So, you know, yeah. sometimes we get off talking about food and go on like this oh, long gosh, tangent yeah. about like uh, red vines or something. So <sighs> this is a Mannix 2. It's got little Twizzlers. little thumb... A uh, little thumb actuated uh, uh, lock here. The blade goes like it is. Um, this is the lightweight version, so it's just FRN, which is like a fiber reinforced nylon. And um, the uh, the blade is made of this crazy stuff that they were really talking up at the store um, called Maximet. Like every table I went to, they're like, we'd talk about knives oh, yeah. and be like, oh yeah, you probably you'd be into you like weird stuff. So like, 
you know, check out this one knife, see if they have any. And so they did. They had like two or three of these left. Um, it's not actually all that weird. It's just like an axis lock, more or less, like in operation. It's a little bit different inside. But for knives and stuff, I want to get like a like you know, a weird steel and a uh, like a like a weird lock or something like that. So this has got an unusual lock for Spider Co. You can actually see, I think, in there, there's the spring on the on the post and stuff. So anyway, pretty cool. But open L, yeah, open L's are like a classic knife. We, you want to go ahead and read what Claire's message says? Uh, remember the long discussion about soup and pho a while back? Yeah, it's, it's true. It's pho. That's what I said. You said pho. I said pho. Okay. No, I said it right. You're not going to get me this time. <laughs> not this time. Uh, Maximin is ultra hard but brittle. It's actually, so I was asking him about that, and um, it's not actually brittle unless you let it get dull. Yeah. Um, while it's sharp, it's fine. But it is ultra hard. It's like a 70 Rockwell hardness or something. I don't know what that scale goes to, but 70 is real high. <laughs> Usual steel's around like 40 or something, I think. So, anywho, jealous of all the uh, UK as well as a non locking folder with a blade length under three inches. Yep. Yep. Audrey's correct. That's usually true, <laughs> frankly. Um, all right, so new knives, done. There we go. Um, oh, do you want to do, all right, so do you want pens or do you want to, uh, also not super stainless? It's not stainless. So yeah, they were telling me that it was stainless and I went and did my homework afterwards. Well, the one guy said that. You didn't ask Both. Really? I asked both about like corrosion and oh. stuff and they were both like, no, it doesn't do that. It can, I guess, but it's fine. It's not as bad as um, like M4 and stuff that I've got, so it'll be fine. I'm just not going to carry it in the rain. I've got a different knife for that. Um, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, but yeah, so far... I can tell you, like, the finish on this is, I like just touching the, the edges, because they've really milled down the edges so that it's not sharp at all. The little, um, like, finger grippy things here are nice and, like, they're grippy, but they're not sharp on all the edges. So, pretty nice. So, pens other over bag? All right, well, there's only one vote, so there you go. Um, you want to grab those two boxes that are right behind your elbow? Thank you. So, I got a box from Kenro. And it's actually in the other room. I love that they package these in like um, one. No, I don't need that. Okay. In like one thing of bubble wrap with a bunch of like um, comics, Newspaper, like yeah. newspapers with comics and stuff on them around it. So jimping, that's the thing. Could not think of that. Um, so the first one we'll do is this one. It's one of these Cento boxes, uh, and this is a knife. Big box. A knife. This is a pen, which is uh, limited to 888 of these guys. This is the Triple Eight Black Mamba. So, do some unboxing action here. It's been too long. I forgot how to use my little thing. So you open up this box, and inside that box is two the more box. boxes. <laughs> <laughs> so many boxes. So this one, I really like this leather box. I think as a presentation box, this yeah. is one of the better ones for sure. Um, so there we go. This is the Aurora 88, the Triple Eight uh, Black Mamba, which is... Kind of hard to find because there weren't really that many of them, and then. I mean, eight hundred eighty-eight, perhaps. Yeah, but there also weren't that many like in the U.S., oh, okay. so um, you don't see them too often. But it is super beautiful, I think. Yeah. Black Mamba pen. Now I'm talking. Heck yeah! Box in a box in a box. Yep. Yeah. Also a sleeve. Um, so this is just like the regular eighty-eight, which is. Um, you want to hand me that leather port like thing behind you? Oof! I hear that. I'll grab my other. Grab my other uh, 88 while I'm at it. Stealthy? Oh, it's stealthy for yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Um, here we go. That nib too. Super dark. Yeah, it is. I think it looks darker than my it Talentum. Does. That's actually. what it looks like. I, well, when you showed it to me, I haven't compared, but yeah, it just looked darker. So this is the regular 88. This is the one in rose gold matte, uh, which I've had for a couple of years now. And uh, I, I love the 88. It's a great shape. I like the rounded ends, which I don't, I usually go for a flat end, but I think I like this better than the Optima. Um, it's a piston filler. It has a glossy black section. How do you feel about the glossy section on the like carved pen body? Um, actually, I'm okay with it. I, it sort of adds a different, it's a different texture or different look that I feel like the body, I don't know, I'm okay with it. I think I like it because it ties to like this back ring back here, which is glossy. Oh, that's glossy. I didn't think about that. But okay, yeah, that's So good. it like yeah. ties some elements together, I think. Uh, maybe the clip, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. 
There's already a lot of stuff going on with it, and I'm okay right. with even. They're just going with that, so that's fine. Yeah, I think it's good. And then the the nib is super duper dark. I think it's darker than my talent. Let me grab my talent just to check. Where did I put it? Do do do. <laughs> it's in another thing I need to do a review for. Which mini review time. This is my Galen leather uh, 40 pen case. I really dig this 40 pen case. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'll do a full video on it, but this thing is real good. I just really, I really like that it's like a book and I it's can just interesting like shape. Yeah, it's, set it down. Yeah. Like it's, it's real nice and it feels good. Uh, anyway, so here's my Talentum, uh, which is their blackout or black ops or full black, whatever they want to call it. Yeah. It's definitely it's just, darker. Yeah. Maybe it's just cause it's, it's new. Different cause it, well, it's also more matte I, looking. So this one looks more matte, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a different nib coating. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. And I like it more. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's real cool. I'm uh, I'm very into this Black Mamba. I can't wait to ink it up and try it out. Buy it? Like, <laughs> not no. <laughs> I don't know, we'll Christmas see. Christmas is coming up. Woo, Christmas, yeah it is. Merry Christmas indeed. So this one's a possibility. Um, Nose is for, in here saying for, hello. Is he? Yeah. Oh, hi, Nose. Uh... There he is. There he is. Climbing around back there in the chat. Yep. Yep. So, um, let's see. If only it's flat top, yeah, then it would be an Optima. They do, I think, make an Optima that has, um, it's got like hundreds around the band or something like that. But yeah, they do make an Optima. It's harder to find, I think. But uh, picked up the four, yeah, Oh, you got the Galen 42, huh, Bill? Good. Nice. I like it. Plus, the Aurora section is your favorite section. It's a great section. Uh, oh, the price on this thing? It ain't cheap. Um, I forget what the price is, actually. Oh, wait. Um, oh, no, the packing slip is actually in the box that it came in. So I don't have it. Um, yeah. No, you have to put Scraggles down. Let me just go to the Kendra site right quick. All right, 888 Black Mamba. No, so. You can just go ahead and knock. <laughs> Nose is really trying to knock stuff over. Um, so yeah, it looks like uh, um, seven hundred and fifteen bucks at the pin boutique. Maybe I won't be buying this one. <laughs> we'll mm. see. Uh, it's unlikely, I guess. Uh, but it is real beautiful. We'll see. Maybe I won't be able to give it up, but I'm. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to. Maybe I'll get a, a, a discount for reviewing it or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. Seven fifteen, uh, six thirty six at Apple Boom. So there might be some movement on that. Mm -hmm. Maybe there'll be like a Christmas sale or Black Black Christmas Friday sale. sale. Yeah. A Black Friday sale for a super black pen. Uh, did you trip and fall on the checkout button? <laughs> nope, not yet. Not yet. Miserip seven ninety five. Yep. Oh, uh, seven fifty uh, euros. Yes, five six hundred mm -hmm. bucks. It's more than that, Tony. Unfortunately, I think that's because it's super limited and sort of thing super pretty pretty limited actually it's not super limited this next one is actually super limited yeah but it is super duper pretty so which one that black mamba yeah oh That's i thought you want this other one this next I mean, one I is have, real pretty I have preferences. which one do you like better well what show the other okay. one and i'll let you know the other one comes in this box which is a less impressive box if i'm honest yeah. um but this is uh not an aurora this is a montagrappa <laughs> Claire tripped and fell on the PayPal app. <laughs> Last pin purchase was in January. Oh, Woo! wow. Woo! Ooh, that's... Ew. So this is a, uh, a sleeve. Inside that sleeve is a box. Inside that's that box, box is another, another box. box. <laughs> so... That's their style. That's, that's how they roll. This is number 30 out of 100. Right there. So this is much more limited. Only 100 of these. 100 in each color or something like that. Um, this is the Maya 450 fountain pen. Uh, Brad Dowdy, I should probably try on the right camera, huh? Brad Dowdy, the pin addict, also got one of these. He got the orange one, which, like, fine. Uh, I got the red. Um, this one is very limited, like I said, to 100 pens. Looks like a shoebox. Nice. Uh, I heard you like boxes. I put boxes in your boxes. Yo, dog, I heard you like boxes. Um, comes with a couple of cartridges, because you, know, you might want to use cool. those. Yeah. Well, it'll take a cartridge. The other one, the Aurora, the Aurora is a piston filler. Yeah. This guy is not. So this is the 450 Maya. 
It's made of a celluloid material, which is, Scott says his last purchase <sighs> is right now. Look at that, Chateauans. Indeed. So plenty of Chateauans. It's interesting, like this side, just like no real Chateauans on that side. But as you go around, like it's got a, it's got a lot of nice threads going through it. I think it's real pretty. It's, uh, I think it's sterling silver hardware on these. Um, What's on the top? So on the top is the uh, the 1912 that Monte Grappa always has. Yeah. Um, around the band, you've got this nice uh, nice engraving. Around here. I think the most impressive thing is I like the the script stuff on the nib. The nib is real pretty. Uh, it actually it feels nice to open. Actually, it's got a it's got a good nice turn. Nice thread to it, yeah, which is cool. Uh, and then this is the uh, if it'll actually focus or not. No, it's not gonna. Maybe I can do it up here. If I could give it no choice. Yeah, there we go. Kind of. I'm trying to hide my face. <laughs> huh. There we go. It looked better on my actual review, but this is the uh, the fine flex nib. They use uh, it's steel. I mean, sorry, it's gold. <laughs> this is the uh, the Yovo flex nib, like what Franklin Kristoff uses. Uh, I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, this is the fine flex. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, the flex cutouts are pretty nice. Uh, same as on the rest of the Yovo ones, but it's got this extra scroll work on the nib. And I think it look, looks yeah, really pretty, it actually. Good. It's a good yeah. design. Yeah. Um, this one I am not buying. This is definitely going back. Yeah. Um, because this one retails for... Um, oh, wow. It's, feel those threads, actually. That's why it feels so smooth. Yeah. Like there's no, yeah, you can't even feel it. like there's no shoulder there at all. It's just like a smooth transition. Mm -hmm. That's really, uh, it's really interesting. The inside of the cap is interesting too. It's like a white plastic liner, but, um, yeah, so it's a flex nib. Um, it's a, uh, well, I mean, it's the Yovo flex. So it's like, yeah. like moderate flex. It's not, not like old school flex. Good size. This thing retails for a thousand dollars though. One. He knows being all classy back here. Sorry. He really is. He thinks it's dinner time, is what he thinks. Oh, yeah. Since the time change, they've been demanding food, so. Uh, Monograph of threads are really well done. Yeah, this is, um, just got here, thought you got a new pen. I didn't buy no. this one. This yeah. is, uh, for this is a loner for a show. In fact, like, I hope he lets me keep it until Philly, because I don't even want to mail it back. Like, it's too expensive to mail. <laughs> FedEx sure. just like. But like, will you uh, pay for insurance? Yeah, right. You don't need um, it. There you go. This clip is actually like, I don't Do know about this clip. Do you want me to go clip. get that now? Yeah. Which thing? The paperwork. Oh, no, I, we, we looked it up. It's fine. This clip is actually a little bit interesting because it's like flush against the barrel. Yeah. Like it really, it's not a great clip. You gotta, it's, it's very tight. We'll see if it works. It's got a roller on the end, which is nice. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's a flexi nib. Oh, it's, look at that. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Instead of having it engraved somewhere, is that a sticker? No, that's the finial. The finial on the bottom, I don't know if you call that a finial or not. It won't focus on it, of course. But it says 30 out of 100. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I haven't seen that on a pen before. I don't know if it's $1,000 cool. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. See how it goes. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I need to ask him if he's cool with me inking it up. Because <laughs> it's an expensive pen. But usually usually he's cool with that. Yeah. So, so anyway, those are the two I got from Yovo. Um, Yovo. Kenro. Yovo. Kenro. Yep. Yeah, well, that's a Yovo nib. Uh, that's that's my excuse. Using white gloves. Yeah. You're right. Flesh clip seems like a bad idea. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's very tight. We'll see how it works. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna put this over my pants, but it, it'll probably go in a shirt pocket. We'll see how it goes. Um, I give it a shot. You know, that's what reviews are for. That's you know, that's why people do them. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe it works better than we think. Is there another? Oh, there's another box. Yeah. There we go. So. So many boxes. You're using white so. gloves. Yeah, I'm not gonna now use... that we watch, looked at both of them, I like the Aurora better. You like the Aurora better? Yeah. I think I do too. It's I... just more my, you know, I think it's a little bit more my style. Yeah, this comes in several different colors, and maybe red isn't your jam. That could be. Um, but yeah, be. that, like the the guilloche sort of scale look on that that Aurora. Yeah. Gorgeous. Super cool. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> into it. All right. So there's that. Um, there's one thing left. <laughs> Uh, and this is the thing that just got here today. I've been waiting for it for a week. Um, shh. Hey. Shh. Shh. Hey. Shh. 
<laughs> She's looking at me very confused. Uh, it's still on? Yeah, we're yeah, still here. Still Just finished dinner. Look at you. Look at you. What a champ. All right, so this last thing just got here today. I've been waiting a week. It's a big box. It is a big box. Uh, it was UPS ground. Let's see UPS ground, huh? Oh, that's right. You did say that. Yeah, it's UPS. Um, it's got a Tom Bin logo on there because uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Tom Bin box full of Tom Bin stuff. So if you're a, a bag follower, um, then you know Tom Bin has been sort of talking about this bag for a while. They have this uh, this pair of bags that have been like the bag I hear people talk about is like the last bag they're gonna get, which is their um, the Synapse. Mm -hmm. uh, Tony here has one for sure. You got an order from JetPins. They came with FedEx. Oh, oh that Steph. is weird. Interesting. Hey Steph, what's up? Yeah, and we're about to look at a bag. So good yeah. timing, Steph. Um, <laughs> so yeah, live, live unboxing time. Well, I did actually. Uh, I opened it earlier, but I put it back in the box. So yes. Um, I mean, it's been it's been cut. So. Um, yeah, so inside here is the uh, the update to the Synapse, the Cynic. There we go. Swooch, there goes that thing. Actually, this is kind of unwieldy. <laughs> it came with a sticker. This is a very expensive sticker uh, that came with a free backpack is uh, what I'll say. So this is actually unrelated. This is the strap that they sell as the Absolute Strap. You got that? All right, Chief, good job. It actually looks way more red on camera, doesn't it? That's um, probably, yeah. Yeah, it could be. Um, so this is the absolute strap. I have a couple of bags that this can definitely go on. Uh, but these, like, these are heavy-duty metal metal clip hook things. They're very nice. This is integrated into the strap itself, and it's like a, it feels like a neoprene. Neoprene, yeah. Um, I, yep, yeah, smells like a neoprene, yeah. too. Um, it's got like a, it's kind of rubbery on one side. This is, this is a really nice really nice strap these go for about 30 bucks for the strap which is um kind of expensive for a shoulder strap i think yes um but i'm gonna be just trading this between bags so i figured i just get one yeah. um and their normal strap is pretty good but this is real good uh, you're sticking to our tortuga oh I decided well your tortuga is real nice um tony is happy with the synapse so the thing i hear is if you have a synapse there's no particular reason to get the cynic um but I didn't have one, and it's been on my list of things, like bags I need to have. Um, and so first glance, I like it. Anyway, so there's this, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, and actually, I put it over my shoulder and had Audrey pull on it real hard. Feels great. All right, let's take this bag out here. Then you can throw that on the ground. Uh, so this is the the Cynic. This is the 30 liter Cynic. Yeah, it looks so much brighter on yeah, camera. Yeah, this is not Interesting. Accurate. Color. Yeah, maybe like maybe when I get out in the sun or something, it'll be reflective. Yeah. I don't know. So I was expecting this to be like <laughs> fire engine red, like it, my truck. to be what this looks like too. <laughs> yeah. It's this is much more of a maroon ish. Or like a like a dark brick red, maybe. Yeah, dark brick red. Yeah, this is a dark red in person, which is kind of weird. What's this look like on here? This looks more or less accurate. I don't know. I think maybe yeah. this just reflects it, light it like has that. Has to be. Yeah, maybe when I get in, it's been so overcast that I have no idea, but. Uh, hey Blake, what up? Mm. Uh, bye. There you go. <laughs> the opposite. Um, so anyway, this is the this is the bag. This is the thirty liter one because it'll fit my larger MacBook. Um, and also, their smaller versions of their bags just look like I'd taken a kid's bag. So like the nineteen liter uh, Synapse and the twenty two liter Cynic, they'd be too small and they actually won't fit my laptop. So I went for the thirty. Um, which is, uh, I think, a really nice bag. It's got a lot of upgrades and stuff, is what I hear. Uh, I was checking out these straps. They have like a zero edge strap going on. So it just kind of goes all the way around. It's like one piece. It's a very nice, very nice, like squishy strap. I'm digging it. Um, this like sternum strap comes off, which is pretty cool. It was like an English post box color. I haven't, I can't tell you. I have no idea. <laughs> um, the back has got this like nice, um, like, webbing mesh stuff the bottom is smooth actually i think i'm gonna like this smooth bottom a lot because one thing that happens with me on backpacks a lot uh try it on yeah i will um is that uh when you have a like a rough bottom here it pulls your shirt up your back mm -hmm. so you're walking yeah. around you're like it constantly like pulling your yeah yeah so it, i think this will be that's one of the things you don't think about but yeah it's... yeah they did though yeah. like that's pretty good um over here on the side this is actually one of the laptop air like accesses and put it in there. You kind of have to like 
slide it in, I guess. Like sort of slide it in this I way. I think it's still darker than Scarlet. Scarlet, it's still. Yeah, no, this is more this of a is brick. This is definitely brick, more brick. Let's on the on, on this, I would say yes. That's on the screen. That's what it looks like. But it's definitely darker. Yeah, that goes in there real easy. This laptop. So that's cool. Um, they just released a 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is cool because I just got a 15-inch. Mm. I might go to an Apple store, see if they'll take it as a trade. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to sell your Peak Design backpack and get the, the Wander Duo. <laughs> the Wander looks really cool. Um, so that's the that's that little ex, uh, entrance. Then over here, it's got a clamshell. So these big, chunky zippers. These look like weather guard zippers. You can see the shiny bits inside there. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. Oh, it's a post box color. Yeah. And it goes all the way this way. Oh, it's going, I see. Um, so, like, <laughs> this is a nice big area. There's a zipper here at the top that you can get into that laptop compartment. It's got these tie down straps for travel because it's meant to be kind of a travel bag and an everyday bag. I say th this is for shoes. Yeah, this looks like a, a shoe compartment yeah. for sure, like a flumpity. Or for your, um, for your papers. Like business your, papers. Like your business papers. Yeah. You can put them in there. Um, and then these uh, these tie down straps actually come out. They have a nice little clip system in here. So I'll probably I'm probably not gonna leave those in there for everyday stuff. But this feels this feels real nice. There's like little O rings up here in the top. Everywhere. O rings everywhere, man. Yeah. Uh, this right here is the water bottle pocket. It's in the middle of the bag, which I think is kind of neat. Am I hitting a little Zojirushi bottle, which clashes horribly? But I want to see if it fits. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Totally fits in there. So yeah, neat. Um, <laughs> I made the mistake of putting coffee in this yesterday in the morning and it was still steamy and like I had to sip it in the evening. So there you go. Um, there's my pitch for a Zojirushi, although I did crack the inside of that cap. Ooh. Yeah, pins bag's nice. So glad Audrey is constant. <laughs> 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 um, then it has a little pocket here uh, in the front. And well, I have something over here that I can show that yeah, you know, potentially you know I mean? even really like even just... throws it off even more than the <laughs> BDC crowd. This pocket in here has uh, pin loops inside. <laughs> nice. Hey, that is too Shh. loud, Missy. Shushies. Quiet. Reminds me how much you hate bags of black interiors. Oh, well, it's actually black there, it's... but it's bright silver on <laughs> the side. The silver so on everything else. Yeah. I think uh, I think that'll be fine. Uh, the inside of this is all silver too. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm going to Amazon Jerushi? Yeah, man. Uh, oh, there's a little pocket in here. I actually didn't even know there was a pocket there. That's cool. Yep. Uh, for your keys. Yeah, exactly. All of, the, uh, all of the zipper pulls are included, so you can like put them on or not, which I think is pretty neat. I haven't yeah. decided if I'm going to put them on or not. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just put it on the big one. I don't know. Yeah, the if there's big pocket. specific spots that you use more yeah. often, that might be helpful. Yeah. And then there's one more pocket down at the bottom which is pretty cool so uh, oh you're saying because the interior this looks nice yeah yeah right. it does i'm glad it wasn't black i think you can get it in a black interior actually so yeah, there must be somebody who's into that but i'm i'm with you black interior is not a great but the front bottom pocket is spacious it is spacious yeah for sure you can put a lot of stuff in there i think actually let me see if i can put my water bottle down there <laughs> Yeah, it swallows that Zojirushi bottle with no problem at all. Yeah, that's like, a smaller bottle. Yeah, I mean, it's like a 20 ounce. It's a 20 ounce bottle. It's, yeah. it's yeah. a vacuum, but like there's so much room in there. Yeah. I You could definitely put like big Nalgene bottles or something. Is like, the Nalgene one put in that? Uh, do I have one? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have this. <sighs> this right here, this is a uh, how big is this? 1,000 milliliter. Um, yeah, Camelback. What the heck do they call that? Anyway, this is the one that like Chase Reeves is always talking about. And I was like, it doesn't look that great. This is a really good bottle. So, Let's see, does that fit in here? Dude, totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No problem. <laughs> it's in there. Yeah. Um, let's see if it fits in the regular bottle pocket. I don't know if it will. It's pretty big. Yeah, it doesn't have, it's too small and doesn't have a handle. <laughs> no, that fits in there just fine. No, no problem at all. So, this, every, every pocket on this thing is bigger than it looks. So, like, that goes in there and has room to move, so. Yeah. Too insulating is like, I don't like this computer because it's too fast. I mean, the problem is that it never friggin' cools down. So I like soup that burns your mouth. Yeah. So Mike is very sensitive in that he likes coffee warm, not yep. super piping hot. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's my thing. I, it's yeah. just too hot. 
can't drink tea straight out of it. I mean, you could. Uh, yeah, I, pre- I, I do pre-cool it sometimes. Um, there was one day this week I remembered to do that and like threw a bunch of uh, cold water in there before I put the coffee in, but otherwise. It does stay that temp forever, that's true. I just have to remember to do it, I forget. Um, oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna put this on. Oh, that's right. Sorry, that's in here. I haven't actually put this on and looked in a mirror yet or anything either. So. Well, here you go, perfect nice. chance. I mean, it's empty, but. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's perfectly I think good size. I think the lighting is a little bit better back there. Like, that's a little more accurate. A little more accurate. I think it might be. Yeah, it's a just little, a little too hot close yeah. up. But, yeah, that's good. I, I like to wear it high and tight. You just kind of slouch it. You can slouch it. It's kind of okay. What about the one shoulder strap? Like, you know, the cool... Yeah, there you go. No. So, uh, yeah. No, I dig it. It's got a nice, really nice handle at the top. It's, like, built in there. So... Anyway, yeah, so far I'm super happy with it. Oh, it's got a little loop down here. I don't even know what that's for. Oh, I'm sure there's a very specific reason. Yeah, right? I don't know. Uh, the bottom is padded, so if you drop it, you've got like your laptop and stuff is actually up off the bottom, but it's also padded. It's a little branding on that, too. Oh, yeah, just a little, little, little tiny brand. Head. It's got a waist pouch. Um, the inside here and here actually has a stiffening board, which you're supposed to take out of the top. I haven't taken it out. Nobody's like asked a, how much it costs. Don't ask Somebody's going to put, you know, the dollar signs. There's several. Don't, there, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't look up how much it costs. Um, but, uh, yeah, so far I'm the really digging it. The camera loves you, says Scott. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was my college pose. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, two dollar signs, maybe three dollar signs. For a bag, it's probably about. I mean, it's not watch money or anything. Well, no, that's that's yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, that ink dependent is so hot right now. <laughs> cat stowaway yeah. area. I could put a cat in there. <laughs> do yeah, I there lift? <laughs> no, no, I don't. No. I do. She lifts. I'm the weird, right? She's the lifter. Um. Yep. So I put my business in there. Inkdependence.com. How fun is that? You did. <laughs> oh. After unboxing your order, you might want to call or email them, share photos, show us the goods on Instagram, tell everyone it's here. They got so many, so many things you can do. Anyway, so uh, that that finishes out the list. Cool. And now I'm on a buying hiatus forever. No. Likely. That won't last very long. It might. You never know. I'm very cheap. Um, I mean, I like that's an expensive Didn't you bag, say you but. Did you like that pen? I do like that pen. See, well. I like that pen, but like I don't know if I. Yeah. <laughs> Robo Jim got automated. She clean and jerk or snatch? No, she does um, like lots of. Uh, not powerlifting stuff. Yeah. Maybe some like some snatching, like some of this stuff with the. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, some of that. that. Yeah. 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 No, uh, no, nothing big there. So. Oh God! Hashtag watches. <laughs> Yeah. Give us your blue steel. No, somebody will somebody will screen cap that. I got to work on it oh, first. Oh, if only. <laughs> if only what? I had a blue steel. Yeah, and then somebody screen cap that. It'd be yeah. pretty good. One of these days. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be one of the cool kids, one strapping it around town. I don't think it's the cool thing anymore. It nope. seems like they know that it hurts your back and you should use two straps. <laughs> yeah. And a chest thing too. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, the chest thing is is. Uh, I'm glad it's got a lot of travel on that one, because a lot of times they're up here, and then it feels choky. Yeah. I don't like that. That feels like it's going to be Not as good. bad as my, um, the seatbelt in my car. <laughs> seatbelt in her car hates me. Every seatbelt. Or, or it loves me. One of the two. <laughs> well, so her seatbelt, whenever I sit back, it locks, and then I can't, I can't move at all. I have to, <laughs> when we were driving home, I took off my seatbelt so many times, so I had to take it all the way off and reset it. Um... Let's see. Magnum. There you go. Uh, let's see. Did I get Disney Plus? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I might, though. Of course um, you are. Well, like, I might wait for a few more episodes of The Mandalorian or something to come out, because that's a weekly show, so... I don't know. We'll see. The Mark car is making sure I'm super safe. That's what, I'm, that's what she uh-huh. said. I'm like, yep. it's trying to kill me, and she's like, it's trying to protect you. When carrying from car to office, you one-strap it. When walking around pin shows, you two-shoulder and chest-strap it. Fair. Use that waist belt. Put the, put the waist strap on. If no, I put that's the, too far. Now that's, if I put the waist that, belt on, then it really just accentuates my it's, gut. It's too dad. It's, it's too dad. Yeah. If I'm like walking through an airport or something, then sometimes I'll put on the waist strap. Yeah. If I have it like really packed down. But. 
Just wait until your favorite Plex server, Pirates Mandalorian. <laughs> uh, don't admit to crimes uh, here live yeah, on. That's... Don't do that. <laughs> uh, I certainly wouldn't do that. No, never. What's this? Oh. oh that's, that's cool. Claire, do you want me to show people this? Interesting. Yeah, that's real neat. I just saw this thing on Slack. Let me know if you want people to see it, Claire. Um, just wait until you... Oh, uh, the waist belt is stowed in the bottom pocket. Yeah. Never used it. Waist belt is only necessary in biking yeah, or hiking. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Or when you have, like, I don't know, all 30 liters of that thing packed down. Yeah. Um, and you're going somewhere, because then it'd be heavy. But, sure, yeah, the waist why belt. not, she says. Yeah? Cool. Here's the thing. Um, uh, how do I do it? <laughs> nope, that's not it. Um, I don't have that on my little button deal. Display capture. There we go. She just sent me this picture, which is a Bach music nib of some kind. I don't think I've ever seen one like mm -hmm. that. It's got three breather holes. Three breather holes, yeah. Three tines, three breather holes. <laughs> breather holes. Yeah, that looks cool. How do you like it, Claire? Tell us some things about that, because I don't know what yeah. it is. That's a new one on me. Mm -mm. Look at that goat. Yeah, it's got a nice looking goat on it. Yeah. Look at that yeah. goat. Isn't that the Leonardo? That's the Leonardo Isn't one? Is that one? Oh. No, it might be. I just hadn't actually. I didn't seen know it. they had three holes. Yeah, I didn't know it was three holes. Oh, God, Claire, type faster. <laughs> she likes it somewhat flexy. Hmm, interesting. I mean, it looks like it should be. Yeah. It's got that kind of curve to curve, the. Curve, yeah. To the tines there at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us more things. Oh, it's on a vintage, vintage pen. pen. Yeah, it looked like a... Yeah. And I don't think the Leonardo looked all that weird. Like, this is a, a really interesting looking... Yeah, note. it was interesting phrasing that was probably translated. That I'm like, no. it's a music nib. Why is it world, the first in the world? It's not, like... it's not the first. It's the only. Oh, my bad. Let's see if I can find this thing for you. Uh, coming soon. Is this the one? Oh, this is Facebook. I don't want to go there. No, well, this is the this is the Leonardo one anyway. There we go. Uh, yeah, no, this looks like a very normal music nib. It looks a lot like a Pilot or something maybe, but different shape here. Looks like it looks nice enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it. I don't. Was that on Instagram or something? I think so. Somebody yeah. screened it on Slack or something though. That's yeah. where I saw it. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, they said something about, like, they're a um, auto mod as a hoot tonight, today. And it was yes. an oblique slit or something like that, and that's... Oh, yeah, it did say that. Well, they do slant in, but... Yeah. I don't know, it was weird. It was it was something strange, yeah. but... Yeah, they said something like they, uh... Um, it was, like, the only nib with three tines yeah. and like, two breather holes or something weird like that. I'm like, that's... I mean, it's true that, like, music nibs are the ones that have three tines, but... And two slits. I'm like, yeah, that's... That's how that works. Yeah. Just DM me the imprint on the barrel. Uh, where it is. Oh, really know. interesting. Huh. I uh, yeah. got a display capture here. Yeah, interesting. Musical Motifs by Michael Mindy. Huh. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think I probably would have... Unless it cost an arm and a leg, like, I'd be real yeah. tempted by that nib. Just because it's, like... Weird and interesting. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that is cool. Thanks for sharing, Claire. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. All right. It is now six thirty-one, and yep. uh, we haven't eaten today, and yep. we've both uh, we've both worked out. Yeah. She <laughs> actually, when I came I came home. Audrey had been working hard, so she was more out of breath, I think, than I've ever seen you. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think that's she not was really. True. I think <laughs> you are you're just wrecked. You've got to be starving to death. So. Yeah. I was doing lots of high impact things like yeah. all this like jumping up and touching knees things and like all kinds of and yeah. lunge running lunges the, well, what are they called running lunges like, the, like no. rachel yeah like those but yeah that was oh. part of it too those kill me <laughs> beat you down two-thirds of a fresh baguette while watching oh. <laughs> i mean everybody loves who a hasn't fresh... done that who right? hasn't just like just wrecked a baguette yeah <laughs> i i definitely have yeah Oh, yeah, Becky, you got a new job. I hope it's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. I forgot you would be at work now. Yeah, I hope that's going super yeah. well. And, uh, yeah, awesome. So, uh, thanks for joining us and yeah. looking at this, like,
kind of crazy amount of stuff we accumulated in the last like three weeks or so. Yeah. It's been a it's been a busy three weeks. Yeah. But um, that's fixing to be uh, fixing to fixing to. Used to down baguettes. Yeah, the serving like, size of a baguette is one. I mean, one. they're like a buck or buck fifty, yeah. maybe two. And it's just carbs. It's so good. Shh. Quiet down out there. That, yeah. yeah. That worked. Yeah, it's sure We're going to pretend it's because she's listening to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, Skrag says hi, Becky. Yeah, yeah she does. She says hi, everyone. All right, so uh, keep your eyes out for... <laughs> <laughs> Keep your eyes up. I really did just kind of, yeah, I don't know why. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, thinking about foods. <laughs> um, now I really am thinking about foods. Yeah, we got to right. go. <laughs> Red vines. <laughs> Halloween candy. Goldfish. Yeah. Not a sponsor. So no. Hungry equals clapping. You are not wrong. Um, so, oh, she says it's Team Scraggs forever. Yeah. Five ever, actually. That's so long. But there's nose over there. My nose. What's up, bud? He really wants to be fed. He makes a, a lot of appearances in my gift guide. So, yeah, he does. If uh, you want to see more nose, watch his gift guide. That's mm -hmm. either going to come up today or tomorrow. Yep. Whatever he decides. Yep, that's right. Heck, maybe I'll put it up now. I don't know. I haven't decided. Wow. I haven't, uh, we'll see. Well, who knows? Who knows what will happen? All right, folks. That's it. I'm going to say goodbye for the last time. Say goodbye, Audrey. Bye, Audrey.